Hello, little bucks. It is the dear teacher, Mrs. Lockling, and today I am going to be reading Santa's Noisy Night by Julie Sykes and Tim Warns. It was Christmas Eve and Santa was feeling jolly. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way, sang Santa noisily as he loaded the toys into the sleigh. Shh, Santa, whispered the reindeer. You have to be quiet tonight or you'll wake up the children. I'll try to, said Santa, but I do like singing. Over the earth they flew towards the first house. Santa was so excited that he forgot to land on the roof and ended up in the front yard instead. Dear me, dear me, dear me, roared Santa, spying a friendly cat. Merry Christmas, cat. Do you think they'll mind if I use the back door? The cat waved her tail in the air. Shh, Santa, she whispered. They won't mind, but you mustn't wake the children. Of course I won't, said Santa, jumping out of the sleigh. Santa threw the sack of presents over his shoulder and tiptoed along the garden patch. The house was silent and everyone was asleep except for the snowman in the yard. Oh, 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 oops, cried Santa, gliding on the patch of ice and crashing to the ground. Shh, Santa, whispered the snowman. You mustn't wake the children. Sorry, said Santa, picking up his presents and bouncing indoors, but Christmas is my favorite time of the year. When he reached the Christmas tree, Santa stopped bouncing and pulled some presents out of his sack. One was a jack-in-the-box, which burst open. Santa jumped in surprise. Hee 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 hee, laughed Santa, clapping his hands. Shh, Santa, whispered the family's dog. You mustn't wake the children. No, we mustn't wake the children, agreed Santa. He put his fingers to his lips and crept towards the fireplace to fill the stockings. But he didn't notice the tinsel on the floor until it was too late. Santa tripped and went bumpity bumpity bump across the room, landing on a roller skate. Toys flew everywhere as he skidded across the carpet and fell headfirst into the fireplace. Ah, ah, achoo, sneezed Santa, rubbing, his, rubbing the suit from his nose. Shh, Santa, said the kitten, sleepily from the armchair by the hearth. You mustn't wake the children. Yes, we must be quiet, whispered Santa, scrambling to his feet. Santa picked up his sack and hurried back to his sleigh, for there were many more places to go before Christmas Day. Finally, they visited the last house, and Santa's sack was empty. Santa rubbed his eyes sleepily and called, Home, reindeer! And with a toss of their heads and a jingle of bells, the reindeer leapt into the sky. Ho, ho, ho! shouted Santa loudly. We are home at last. I know, I know, he added softly. We mustn't wake the children. It had been a busy night and Santa felt very tired. He made himself a cup of hot cocoa, put on his slippers, laid back in his armchair and fell fast asleep. Zzz, snored Santa. Munch, 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 crunched the reindeer as they ate their supper. Shh, squeaked Santa's little mouse. You mustn't wake Santa. And that is the end. Good night, little bucks. See you tomorrow.